Hello, my name is Manjot Singh. I want to talk to you about MaxScale. It's a part of the MariaDB platform, and it's a great feature uh, that has many different uh, available configurations. So let's consider how does MaxScale work? Well, a lot of people will use it as a router, or maybe for bin logs, or for, for a firewall, or for different features. But it basically has this architecture. It has a listener, and the listener basically is something that you connect to with your application. So you might have your application, and it will connect to a listener on some port. Now, within MaxScale, you next have, and again, this is external to MaxScale up there, you next have a filter. And the filters, there's quite a few of them. And again, MaxScale is so modular and flexible that what you can do is really just put them together like Lego blocks. You get these great options. So you could use, for example, the T filter. You could use a regex filter. You could use a filter that uh, changes it to the RabbitMQ format uh, for offloading to, say, a messaging queue. Um, so there's, you know, there's uh, a caching filter. So maybe you want to have some, some queries cached. Uh, there's, um, let's say, a, a firewall filter. So there's so many great options, and they just fit together like little Lego blocks. You know, some of these are like three or four lines of uh, configuration that you just put into the maxscale.conf, uh, and all of a sudden it's there and available uh, for your service. Then the next step is also similarly configurable. Again, even the listener is a little uh, modular block like that. Um, and the next step is the router. So how does, the, how does it get routed? And again, very configura configurable. So you might have a, a read-write splitter, right? Uh, to split automatically and transparent to the application, split your reads and your writes. Uh, so you can have read, uh, read scalability across replicas. Um, and uh, there's also a round robin read. So we call that read con uh, router. Uh, there's uh, an Avro router, so you could export into Avro format. There's a bin log router, so that you could use it to store and transport binary logs. So you could have a massive replica scale. Uh, so there's, there's many options here as well. And then that just connects to your database server from there. So um, MaxScale gives you some great options. It's highly configurable with these small little pieces that go together and create something very powerful. Um, and it's, it's very easy to use, to automate, uh, and it does not have a lot of operational overhead, but it saves your developers time and your operations time uh, in a transparent, opaque manner. And so this is, this is really just the internals of MaxScale right here. Thank you.